wants to look perfect on her wedding day. But some may need some extra help. I definitely need a breast lift. There's a little excess tissue here. A little? <laughs> now there's a place where they can come to complete their quest for ultimate perfection. Tap, tap. OK, let's put her down and try a bigger size. This is bridal plasty. The brides will compete for the chance to have plastic surgery procedures before their wedding day. Tons of women get plastic surgery every day. They just don't admit it. She's going to fill out her wedding dress, that's for sure. And the last bride standing will not only complete her head-to-toe transformation, <laughs> she will also get a celebrity-style dream wedding. After being away from her fiancé for four months, she will finally walk down the aisle, and he will lift her veil to reveal her new look for the very first time. But to get there, oh my god, she must make it past every other bride in the house. What are you just you don't, de you don't deserve to be here. You better freaking sleep with your eye open, bitch. Plotting against each other. Who the f are you voting for? Don't try to vote me out of this house and think that we're going to be friends. I'm dominant. Like, they don't want me in this house. What the f is wrong with these people? She's a manipulator, and I hope she freaking goes home. Say it to my face. I want to smack that nose right off her face right now. You're just making me look like a Dr. DeBro can fix faces, he can't fix personalities. arrived at the house, I thought, this is a dream. The house is gorgeous. It's unlike anything that I've ever seen, let alone step foot in. My name is Cheyenne, and I'm from Hamburg, New Jersey. This is our house. This is my fiance, Hi. Scott. <laughs> what do you think about me uh, getting any plastic surgery done? Nose job. Can you see it? Yes. Yeah, see the nose? The nose. Understandable. OK, I got that. Obviously, He's OK be... with the nose. I think my best physical feature is probably my stomach. I have, like, a flat stomach, but that's, like, the only thing I really don't have a problem with. Now, we go over laundry, like how to do it. I was an only child growing up, so I'm not good with doing things by myself. What size loads? <laughs> See, like that stuff. Like, it's always going to be a large. You said it's just a button. I don't have, I don't know what size load. I'm used to getting what I want, you know what I mean? So like, and if I don't, I just cry until I get what I want. Love it. Oh my gosh, our picture. <gasps> no way. Oh my gosh. Oh, how fun. Oh, that's cool. Wow. This is nice. I love it. My name is Allison. I'm 33, and I'm from Chicago. Uh, this is the closet of all the wedding stuff that I've got yeah, some boxes. Lot. We had a wedding scheduled for July 10th of this year, which had to be canceled. For I've it. even got like some of the glasses that I started making for some of the girls. During the process of planning our wedding, I was laid off, and then as a double whammy, then he was laid off a month after me. Boxes of bubbles, my wedding shoes. Don't have the dress. Yeah. I'm getting sick of the bad luck at this point. So that is just another one of my big quirky moments. Let's go pick out a room. Yes. OK. There's a pink bedroom? Yes, I want oh, it. I'm so oh, in. Oh, I want gosh. It. <laughs> oh no, does she claim it? This one's cute though. Well, it's okay, I could always ask her. <laughs> my name is Lisa Marie, and this is my fiance Derek. As a child, I was teased because of acne breakouts, and it still affects me till this day. So if there can be somebody that can come out of the little genie bottle and wave their little wand and, yes! and, and, and change me. I'll be like, yes! I think the hardest part for me is going to be the fact that I'm going to be away from you so long. I'm sacrificing leaving my fiance, who's so dear and important to me. It's hard. It's definitely hard. But you know, it's for a good deed. 
It'll be fine, baby. Don't worry. Don't cry. I'm Kristen, and this is my fiance, Brandon. I started pageants when I was 15 years old. I've done seven pageants in my lifetime, and out of the seven, five, I've walked away with winning something. Needless to say, I have definitely had more than enough experience with competing with women. If she knows what she wants, she's going to go and get it. So they just better watch out, because there's no stopping her. Exploring the whole house, and here come three more girls. And it was the most exciting yet nerve wracking thing at the same time. We're wondering, okay, we're gonna get along, we're not gonna get along. I, I just wonder how this is all gonna pan out. This one, did you see that bathroom? Why my stuff's here? Do you wanna be roommates? Cause you're like fabulous. Is she going to? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm in here, girl. I'm on that bathroom. I'm Alexandra, I'm 21. I recently just got engaged. His name is Antoine. It's kind of one of the things where, like, if you're having a dream wedding, then obviously you're gonna want a dream body. I definitely wouldn't mind some plastic surgery. Tummy tuck, arm tuck, you know, thigh tuck, especially where I had like extra skin for my weight loss. Boob job? No, what's wrong with my boobs? <laughs> I mean, nothing's wrong with them, but I mean. Honey, I'm trying to get us a free wedding, okay? Fabulous, over the top Hollywood glam style wedding with some plastic surgery, okay? I'm ready to do this. I want to complete my fairy tale, and I'm going to. And I'm gonna make sure that no one gets in the way. Dominique, and I live in uh, Miami Beach, Florida. My sister had gotten married in 2007, and my parents gave her a beautiful wedding. My parents spent basically whatever they had um, on my sister's wedding, and didn't think about saving a little bit for you know our wedding. It's very sad for me. So this is my way of, of getting that dream wedding, of being able to be that beautiful bride. And he's like, no, no, we gotta get up to the stone part of it. Like, okay, <laughs> so he proposes to me there. It was really the cutest thing. Like, I made him propose to me. I was How like, long were you guys together for? <laughs> I'm not kidding. I was like, if, you, if I don't have a ring on my finger in 30 days, I'm so like, weak. Like, wow. How long were you together for? We were together for four years. And I was like, this is oh, ridiculous. Yeah. You will propose to me. <laughs> My name is Janessa. I live in Wayne, New Jersey, and my fiance's name is LJ. He's tall, dark, and handsome. I'm not one to fight what nature intends. Oh, okay. So when you made it clear to me that you needed an engagement ring so that we could be engaged and wed according to your schedule, I said, I'm not gonna fight this. You know, I've, I've got my hands on the real winner here. I'm excited. I can't wait to scope out all the other girls, see what my competition is, and kind of formulate my game plan. Well, did you pick out the ring, or was it like Well, a... we went to look at rings together. Yeah. Like, I made it do that. Yeah. So, but... You have a tattoo. It's sort of a... Oh. It's my kids' birthdays and my wedding date. Oh, wow. Yeah. Are you already married, or...? Yeah. So am I. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My name is Jamie, this is my husband, Lon. We have two children. <laughs> we got married at the courthouse because my mom was sick and... I I am. <sighs> she had cancer, so the time was getting, you know, closer and she was just getting sicker. So we just went to the courthouse um, so she could be there. And one year after we got married, she passed away. You know what's gonna be my inspiration, babe? So I win this photo. I wanna enter this competition because I feel as though it's my time and I deserve to celebrate and just be happy and have something to be happy about. Hey, kisses. Hey, give me a kiss. Do a hug with me? Oh. oh. My name's Nettie, I'm 23, and I live in Los Angeles, California. I want to feel absolutely fabulous walking down that aisle. And, you know, everybody wants some nips and tucks here and there. Uh, breast augmentation. For it or against it? I guess for it, but not exaggerated. Exaggerated? Yes. Not okay, exaggerated. but augmentation. Uh, for it. I absolutely know that I intimidate other women, but just wait until I have Jessica Beale's butt. Poof. It's perfect.
name is Ashley and I'm from La Palma, California. This is my fiance, Sabino. Um, we've been together about eight years. I have some concerns with my chest and I, I'd like for it to be a little bigger um, and also with my nose. I know that Ashley wants to get the plastic surgery thing going, but you know, I kind of disagree in certain things. You know, she's fine the way she is. <laughs> my proposal is a little bit different. Um, I actually met my fiance on The Biggest Loser. Really? Oh, wow. So anyone who saw that in December, my fiance proposed to me on TV at our finale. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Yes. Yeah, so basically, I signed up. I went on The Biggest Loser. I was over. I was 315. He was 367. I had the pictures. My bags are coming. And. Basically, we lost all of our weight together in six months. I lost 95 pounds, he lost 157, and at the end, he proposed to me right on TV. <laughs> Alexander is already taking over the house and convincing everyone that she's wonderful because she's been on The Biggest Loser. Wow. He proposed to me in December on TV. It's pretty evident to me that Alexander's only here for fame. Oh my gosh, like we are so huge. I'm already sick of hearing it. Yeah, it's on TV, it's everywhere. YouTube, and that's like, everyone seen it. Like the next day, it was on Yahoo. Alexandra is definitely a competitive threat. We really need to get her out of the house. So <laughs> oh, no, yeah, it was crazy. Coming up. Liposuction of the tummy, liposuction on both sides, here and the outer thigh here. I am surprised that there are so many skinny ones that want to get work done. I'm very self-conscious, like whenever I have shorts on, that people are looking at it. Like, do you just want me to go like nuts all right now? Yes, that's wow. me. He proposed to me on TV in December. All I keep hearing about is Biggest Loser, Biggest Loser, shut up already. Is this the longest anybody's spent with out there? Yeah, yeah, definitely. This is by far the longest I've ever spent away from him. My husband's been in Iraq since January. Okay. He got married before he deployed. Like, he was supposed to be back on our one year wedding anniversary. They got delayed. My name is Melissa, and my husband's name is TJ. He's a senior airman in the Air Force. TJ was deployed to Iraq <laughs> in January. And I haven't seen him since. When he got his deployment orders, it was obvious that there wasn't going to be any time to plan a proper wedding. So we just kind of went to the courthouse and said, hey, <laughs> can you marry us? And then they did. He's going to be home any day. And unfortunately, I'm already leaving for the show. I think I'll always regret not being the one at the airport to welcome him home. But at the same time, this is for the both of us. I just miss him a lot. My name is Jessica, and I live in Virginia Beach. I'm 30 years old, and I'm going to get married this year. As far as our actual wedding, I just want it to be fun. I don't really care too much personally about the details of it. Um, plastic surgery. I've had a lot of surgeries on my breasts for cysts and things like that, and I'm really uneven, and um, and they keep popping up, and I'm just like, I'm a mess in that area. When you're getting married, you should be like at your prime, and having a breast augmentation, I can only imagine that I would feel one, like 100% complete again. Shayna Mokler, I'm thinking, oh my god, she was Miss USA. I'm excited, I'm yeah. excited to meet you guys. She dated rock stars. How can you not love this woman? Hi, ladies, I'm Shayna Mokler, and welcome to Bridal Plasty. You guys are all here because you want the perfect dream wedding, but that's not all you have in common. You also want head to toe plastic surgery makeovers. Yeah. Yeah. Here's how it's gonna work. You're all gonna live here for the next several weeks in this magnificent mansion and compete in challenges that will help transform you closer and closer to the perfect bride. But also, with the challenges come eliminations, so one by one, you will be going home until we just have one bride left. 
And that one bride will have a first class celebrity style dream wedding. Oh my God. This means the world to be able to have that dream wedding. Our rings are on layaway. We don't even have a budget. The last bride standing will also win a complete body transformation. You will walk down the aisle, you will see your husband for the first time as the brand new you. I think it will be an initial shock just because, you know, there is always going to be shock when someone comes home looking different, but, you know, that's what keeps life exciting. Ladies, before you came here, you all consulted with one of our plastic surgeons. So without further ado, please welcome Dr. Debro. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. T. Magic man. <laughs> he has worked on some of the hottest celebrities, including some of my very dear friends. He's here to literally make all of your dreams come true. I mean, I was surprised when I first met you guys because you're all so basically good looking. And, uh, you know, plastic surgery is really to make minor improvements to be a better version of yourself. And a lot of the work you're going to do in the gym, with diet and exercise, and then I'm going to help you do the rest of it. Why don't we take a look at each one's plastic surgery wish list? These are the procedures you guys told me you wanted to see improved and we talked about. So let's go over some of them. So the first one I'm going to talk to is Alexandra. Ah, Alexander, come on up. <laughs> there you are. You have done something great. You've lost a lot of weight. Any of you who all don't know, I was over 315 pounds last year. Um, so I lost 91 pounds in a six, uh, six months, and I've kept it off for the past eight. I actually was on The Biggest Loser. Um, that's where I met my fiance. And I actually went home first. And after I lost the weight, he came back and proposed to me on TV at the finale. All I keep hearing about is Biggest Loser, Biggest Loser, Biggest Loser. Yes, that's me. <laughs> he proposed to me on TV in December. Shut up already. Wow. Coming up, I do have one more surprise guest. Oh, I yes. love it. You guys ready? met earlier to discuss your surgeries, so let's take a look. I'm trying to be the perfect bride, Dr. Brown. Right. To really get this taken care of, you'd really want to sort of remove this, and that's more of a tummy tuck. It's hard to stand up there and admit all of your perfections, but at the end of the day, nothing is set in stone. You can change it. Here's your wish list. Thank you, doctor. Good luck. This is a heavy list, right? There's a lot of stuff on here. Liposuction. Here. Here, all into this area here, here, and here, and this area here, here, here. Okay. All of this, all of this, all of this, all into here. You have a little bit of irregularities in here. I'm a mess. Back here, back here. Ooh, I feel like I'm part of an Indian tribe. <laughs> <laughs> all right. There's a pock mark here, right, which is right there. I think we do all of these procedures, you're gonna look pretty smoking hot, honestly, <laughs> so. Everybody wants that beautiful dream wedding. And even though Derek has told me over and over, he's like, no matter what, Lisa, he's like, you are beautiful. I wanna step out there and say, I feel good about me, and I'm happy. Good luck, okay? <laughs> Allison, come on down. <sighs> what do you Yay. Want to so, Allison, you have done... Really? <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad at all. There are so, some things that are just not meant to be shown. I have a three-year-old son, and things just never went back to normal. I've got that tire thing down here. I could actually make it talk at times. Help me, please. Suck me out. It won't go away. <laughs> all right, now let's look at your body. 
Mm. <laughs> a little excess tissue here. Okay. A little? <laughs> there are some things that are meant to be covered up. They do not make bikinis for oversized women, and I'm telling you, that was uncomfortable. I could go to a bar, put a dollar bill in my bra, and find it three days later under my boob. <laughs> you know? Come on, that's not supposed to happen. I'm usually the funny girl in the room. Humor is what I use to cope. You have some breast shape issues with conical shape to your breast, right? You have perfect breasts for doing a breast augmentation. And then liposuction of the tummy, yep. right here, lower part. Seeing these girls, I am surprised that there are so many skinny ones that want to get work done. All the lipo. Liposuction on both sides. A contouring laser liposuction very easily and reduce these areas. I'm just gonna be honest, okay? The skinny bitches like run it. I could like swallow her. Seriously swallow her, like for real. And you wouldn't even know. You'd just be like, oh, are you bloated? We can certainly put a breast implant in on both sides. When you have a deflation situation, do a simple breast augmentation. I'm seeing some girls that look damn near perfect. Okay. Liposuction. Here and the outer thigh here. Oh my God, you're ridiculous. Your areolas are going down a little bit. We can do a breast lift and bring them to the center. Now the tummy. Fullness here. There's some in the upper quadrant here. In the lower quadrants on both sides. Here's your wish list. Thank you. Good luck. Tomorrow, the competition starts. But tonight, I am going to throw you a bridal party. <laughs> Ladies, as you may have seen at the top of the stairs, there are your bridal closets. Each week, you'll get to add a new piece of your dream wedding to that closet. The last bride standing will get to keep everything in her bridal closet. After you put your plastic surgery wish list in your bridal closet, go get changed, and I'll meet you down here for our bridal party. Yay! I don't want to underestimate anybody, but it's going to be really interesting to see who gets what done, because some of these girls really need some help. Having these 15 surgeries or more, it's a lot. But to have complete confidence is just, that's the best, probably the best gift you can give a girl. <laughs>
love it. You guys ready? Yes! yes. Who is it? This will be the site of your very first challenge. No makeup, guts hanging all out. I wanted to die. This is a nightmare. Oh. The last two brides, well, let's just say you don't want to be the bottom brides. And later. Unfortunately, we have some business to attend to. This week's decision, it's in your hands. You look like you have something up your sleeve. I'm <laughs> just saying, you look kind of like. I do have one more surprise guest. Oh, I love it. You guys ready? Yes. Okay. like eight months. I mean, he was in Iraq for so long. I felt like it took him forever to get to me. Like, forever. And... So, this is TJ. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hi. He's gone. Jamie and I said you could have our room tonight. <laughs> okay, guys, this party is still going, so join the party right. and have a drink. You deserve one. That's cool. I'm, I'm glad he came. Just don't fall asleep. I mean, she was just, like, overwhelmed with the emotion. I did, too. I was like, oh, I'm so yeah, yeah. Like, I like yeah. it. This is amazing. They haven't seen each other in eight months. It was just beautiful. Beautiful. Don't worry, I'll hold your Can hand Can we, like, make out? <laughs> so weird. <laughs> Really, really, like I was missing by every now, like missing. Oh yeah, yeah. missing even like feel that down. Where's the rest of our fiancés? You know, they're kissing. I'm just like, Psh, I don't have my man here to kiss. See, one day we'll have a kitchen that looks like that, <laughs> and one day? I, and I will make you breakfast in bed every day. Aww. I love you. I love you, I love you so much. I wish I could stay here forever, but. I know. I just had this like most amazing moment with you and your home and you have to leave me again. <laughs> oh my gosh. So. So. Don't cry. I definitely am very grateful for Shana letting me come. We're soulmates. And that's the worst part of our the relationship is saying goodbye all the time. It's not like we're not used to being separated already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He'll wait for me like I waited for him. To be strong, okay? I love you so much. I love you too. That kind of just brought me back to why I'm here. And I'm here to win a wedding for the both of us, and I'm here to become the perfect bride for him. And he totally deserves it. He deserves that and more. Love you, babe. Love you too. Bye. Well, that was a tease. shapes your shoulders and your arms. Hey, ladies! Hey! Hey, guys! Automatically, I'm thinking, oh, no. The competition's gonna start. I think I'm gonna my pants. All right, ladies, it's time for your first challenge. Immediately, my heart feels like it's going to pump out of its chest. Like, I'm so nervous. All right, meet me outside at the top of the stairs at the bridal tent. I am super determined. Nothing will get in my way because my wedding is on the line. Oh my god, oh my god. no way! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. It's mortifying. 
lying enough to know that someone has that picture on their camera somewhere, but to actually see it, no makeup, guts hanging all out. I wanted to die. This is a nightmare. Coming up, the first 10 brides to finish their puzzles will be invited to the party. We have injectables, skin care, and we have some fillers. I'm sorry, but you're the last two, the bottom brides. But what's worse is that your time here at the house now is in jeopardy. And later. So when I say vote, raise your hand. Are you ready? <laughs> vote. to the bridal tent. They had all of our freaking photos in our bikini, and I was like, ah, oh, I'm so tired of seeing my freaking, you know, skin and everything everywhere. I had no clue what was coming. Hello, ladies, and welcome to the bridal tent. This will be the site of your very first challenge. This game and this entire competition is about transforming the old you into the new you. In front of your pictures, you will see a stack of magnetic puzzle pieces. When you put these pieces together, they'll form an image of what you could possibly look like at the end of your journey. A brand new you made over wearing a bridal gown. When I say go, you will race to finish the puzzle and assemble the new you over the old you. Oh my gosh, I am terrible at doing puzzles in general. Now ladies, over there is a tray with 10 syringes. As you finish your puzzles, you may grab a syringe, go downstairs, where Dr. Dubro and his staff will be having an exclusive first class injectables party right here in the house. Oh my god, injection party? Hell yes. I can actually have something worth $600 like injected into my face. So, okay. The first 10 brides to finish their puzzles will be invited to the party. The last two brides, well, let's just say you don't want to be the bottom brides. On your mark, get set, go. As soon as Shayna says go, my first thought is corners and borders. If you love puzzles, you do corners and borders first. I want to go to the injectables party. But right now, I'm just excited to get that puzzle done so I can see what I look like in that wedding dress after I get all my plastic surgery. I'm looking at pieces. I'm looking, I'm looking. Is it on the right side? Is it on the left side? I don't know what to do. Oh, let's go. I'm so confused. I am a good competitor. I'm probably one of the most intelligent girls in the house. Like, let's face it. Kristen and Cheyenne, like, I'm sure that they're gonna be excellent citizens of the United States, but I don't think that there's a lot going on up there. You know, all the girls have pieces up. My pieces are, like, now scattered around my feet, and theirs are on the board. Please, God, please, please, please let this be right. Kristen, you are the first bride to complete your puzzle. Come grab your syringe and go down to the injectable party. Yes! Oh my gosh, my puzzle's right. I want this butt face fixed. Congratulations. I'm so <laughs> take care of my butt face. <laughs> You are correct. Cheyenne, you are correct. During the challenge, I keep seeing all these syringes like completely being taken off the table one by one, and I'm just like, I want a syringe. We have injectables, skin care, and we have some fillers. Oh, man. Good job. I'm starting to freak out because there's less and less people. And like, I do not want to be in the bottom two. There's just no way. There are six brides left with four syringes. Shane, I think I'm done. Melissa, you are correct. Oh my god. Ladies, there's three syringes left with five brides. Are you kidding me? I am not gonna be one of these bottom two. Like, I cannot lose this challenge. Shane, I'm done. Three brides, two syringes. Shane, I'm done. Janessa, you are correct. 
oh my god, I cannot believe this is finally over. Okay, I can go and enjoy myself now because that was hell. Okay, ladies, the next bride to complete their puzzle will be the last bride at the party. I still have a small, small chance, but I'm holding on by a thread. And I'm starting to freak out. I'm like, I'm looking at my puzzle and it looks correct. I'm like, I don't see anything wrong. If I don't get this puzzle right, there's so much at stake. Not getting the dream wedding, not getting the plastic surgery, which is so important to me. I can't let it slip away. Shayna, I'm done. Lisa Marie, that is correct. You got the last syringe. <laughs> Yes, grab it and go down to that party. When she said that, it was almost as if I, like, an angel was calling my name. Go enjoy your party with all the other brides. You did it! <laughs> I see her reaction, and I'm thinking, Lisa Marie, you won. What is the problem? This better be tears of joy. Come here. Don't, don't. It's okay. <laughs> Just seeing Lisa Marie coming down the stairs crying, it just, it's bittersweet. You're so happy for everybody and yourself, but where are they? Where's Ashley? Where's Alexandra? Alexandra, Ashley, I'm sorry, but you're the last two, the bottom brides. But what's worse is that your time here at the house now is in jeopardy. I literally just saw my dreams shatter. The picture, the outline of my body, it was beautiful. That's exactly how I wanted to look on my wedding day. And I'm literally in tears, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going home first. Like, we're so happy we all made it, but there's two people up there. Yeah. Not, and that's sad for them because they went through this journey that we just went through. Could you imagine? We're sitting around at the Ejectables party, and we're noticing there are two girls that are missing, Ashley and Alexandra. I'd be devastated if I didn't win that challenge. I would have been devastated. I don't think they'll both go home. But who knows? I've never heard of these ingredients in skincare. Like coffee bean? Yeah. yeah. Coffee berry, yeah. Hi, ladies. Hi. Unfortunately, we have some business to attend to. So, Dr. Debro and your beautiful nurses, if you could step out so we could have a moment. Thank you. Okay. Everyone, Ashley and Alexandra were the last two brides to finish their puzzles. So, they are the bottom brides. So, that means one of them will be going home right now. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Here I am, up for elimination, again, in the first week. I cannot be the first one to go home. I already was the first one on The Biggest Loser. I'm not going home first. I'm here, I need to be the perfect bride, and that's it. But, like the eliminations to come, it's in your hands. I break down. I don't want to be the person to crush someone else's dream. I don't want to send you this home. <laughs> oh, God. And I'm just thinking, oh, I'm gone. This week's decision is going to be a little different than the rest, but ultimately, it will always be in your hands. I'm thinking, this is great. I may have the opportunity to send Alexandra home. I'm kind of at these people's mercy, and that's a very vulnerable, scary place to be. We're about to have a simple hand vote, but before we do that, I'd like to let Alexandra and Ashley speak to you. Ashley? I really, like, know that I deserve this because I have to walk in here and look at everybody with the ring on their finger, and I don't have that. I do feel that Ashley's decision to pawn her ring did affect my vote because it's kind of unthinkable. She's already had her time. This is my first chance. Alexandra, it's your turn to speak. Well, um, if any of you all know my story, I know what it feels like to go home first. I went home first, the first week on The Biggest Sister, so I know what it feels like. I just really want a chance to complete my, my fairy tale. It's like you already had your moment in the spotlight. You already got proposed to on national TV. Like, nobody else in the house like, got that opportunity. I really would like a chance to try just one more time to make it past the first round and to just really, like, 
even see if it's possible to even just have this dream wedding. Okay, ladies, thank you. It's time. So when I say vote, if you want Alexandra to stay, raise your hand. If you want Ashley to stay, keep your hand down. Are you ready? Vote. So when I say vote, if you want Alexandra to stay, raise your hand. If you want Ashley to stay, keep your hand down. Are you ready? Vote. Ladies, all 10 of you must vote. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. We need a vote, I'm sorry, I know this is difficult. That's one vote for Alexandra to stay in the house. I'm the biggest loser, she had been the first one to go home. I don't want that to happen to her again. I know I wouldn't be able to handle that. Allison, that makes two votes for Alexandra to stay. Kristen, that's a third vote for Alexandra to stay. Alexandra, you now have four votes. Ashley, you have six. If you pawn your ring because you need food on the table, then like, I'm okay with that. But hell no, I would take the bus day in and day out to get to and from work in order to keep that ring. Last chance to lock in your votes. Alexandra, you need two more votes or you're going home. Raise them up high, please. Alexandra, you had seven votes. Ashley, you had three. Congratulations, Alexandra. <laughs> Ashley, I'm sorry. You are the first one to be eliminated from bridal plasty. Your wedding will still go on, but it just may not be perfect. I know that was very, very difficult, but it's only gonna get harder from here. I'm more upset about not being able to get the chance to compete for the surgeries. A lot of the girls already have a fairy tale going on. I'm still trying to piece mine together the best way I can. And, you know, it just didn't work out. I am really good friends with, like, the people that did vote for me. But the other ones, Janessa, Melissa, Lisa Marie, they were still like, oh, Alexandra, like trying to be nice to me, because they know if I win another challenge, oh, you got it coming, bitch. You do. Don't try to vote me out this house and think that we're going to be friends. So how often do we all <laughs> This season on Bridal Plastic. Okay, ladies, you'll be leaving for your plastic Hi. surgery immediately. Let's go do this. I want to look voluptuous. Oh my god, I love it. I've wanted to get my nose fixed for so long. Oh! It's bittersweet. I want to be in that room. I want to be recovering. Do you think you could show me your best scars? I'm definitely considering changing my vote because it's the right thing to do. Melissa's a little naive. She needs to suck it up a little. If I go home tomorrow, I'm not gonna get my skin fixed. I want this tummy tuck. I want it more than anyone in this house. Have you ever had any hesitations about getting married to Scott? No. <gasps> Are you satisfied with your sex life? No. <laughs> See you this afternoon at the most exclusive wedding dress store in Beverly Hills. <laughs> Here's my cell. I'm a diva, I'm a curvy lady, and I wanna look good. Time to strut your stuff. Alexandra and her dress are all that stand between me and my boot job. The winner of Bridal Plasty will get a Fiji Vacation <gasps> Honeymoon Package. My dreams are becoming a reality. Fiji! Oh my God. <laughs> Forming the alliance just made sense. I will give you my word that if it's you and Melissa in the bottom next week, I will vote for you. This is really gonna be a test of whether I'm really the puppet master or not. They're the fakest bitches up in here and they're gonna be the ones standing at the end if no one stops their asses. There is clearly an alliance and I don't like that sneaky bull Allison's voting for me, who the f are you voting for? They're fake ass bitches. I don't wanna play some fake ass game. You don't deserve to be here. Why would you just stand here and say you didn't say it? You're just making me look like a liar. Your quest to be the perfect bride is over. No offense, but at least I'll go home with